Let's check out what there is on the main square over there. This is one of the coolest things about Krakow. It's the Ovojanki. I haven't had one in a while, admittedly. I like to get the Japka one. Pretty cool. Uh, I always feel bad when I say and I don't buy anything from them. You got the option of getting these kebabs, but I've already had a lot of them. Chindobre. You got beef and chicken, right? Yeah. I had one before, it's good. And then this one, I, I was considering getting the donuts. But I can't I can't have ice cream and donuts. Let's find an ice cream shop. Polish ice cream. Hello. Hi, do you have the Polish ice cream Siple Lodi? No. No? Do they sell around here? No. Only around here? Only normal? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Dude, she said they don't sell it. This is not good. I'll try another ice cream shop. It can't be true. I refuse to believe it. This is a popular one. They must have it. What a line. Check out the flavors. Weird ones. They got iced tea, krovka. Thank you. I don't know what the flavor this is. Pretty interesting. Cookie caramel. You guys have you guys have the uh, Polish ice cream? No. No? No. Is there another special Polish ice cream that you guys sell maybe? No, it's just Just ice cream? Yeah. Wait, can I get the uh, cookie one? Yeah, of course. Caramel? Looks that's fun. Just one? Yeah. Okay. Try it. Yeah, this one, cookie caramel. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. How disappointing is that? They don't have the Polish ice cream, which I was hoping they would have. It's like a egg white based warm ice cream, which I thought was weird for it to be warm. Instead, I got cookie caramel, dude. I'm starving right now. I'm supposed to be giving you a tour of this place. Mm. This is pretty good. Let's find some real food in this uh, tourist infested area. Oh man, just look at the main square. It's, uh, it's so nice. It's always nice to come here and just chill. You could do what these people do. Come to one of these restaurants, but I don't know. These just seem too fancy for me right now. There is a street over there that has a lot more food that I've seen like tourists lined up for, which I haven't tried yet. This is the other street that has a lot of restaurants. Burger King, got a McDonald's there. You got this unique store that sells cheese for steak. In my opinion, the ones, the cheese at the market, the ones that the local farmers come to the market and they sell the Ozeik, Ozbeik, that cheese is so good from some of them. Actually, from all the ones that sell it individually. But, anyways, like Krakow, even if you go outside the center, uh, it's just full of restaurants. There's Asian restaurants. I don't want to get hit here. There is uh, this street mostly has like super fancy restaurants like this. But if you're if you're more like if you go outside like this place, there is uh, regular restaurants like Asian. This Pizza Topia, which is always almost always packed here especially at night there's like a huge line and now it's no exception check it out 
build your own pizza. So this is a place where you literally just order pizza with any of the toppings with the hello. So you just pick your toppings and they make it over here and it comes out from the other side. Oh wow, that looks good. It does look good, but I kind of want to go get the pulled pork sandwich from that truck. I'm going to see if it's open. Yeah, as good as that pizza looks, I think I'm going to go with the pulled pork sandwich. It's just much more exciting to try right now. I was planning on trying it later, but I'm craving it right now. So, man, that's the tramp. This is what a Polish tram looks like. Krakow. Okay, it was definitely a mistake not getting that pizza. I'm starving. The ice cream didn't do that much, but it's supposed to be right here. Oh, there it is. Andreas food truck. They got some other stuff here. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. What do you guys sell? Sorry? Fries? Fries. Yeah. All right. Thank you. There's fries over here. There's this Hungarian stuff that they make over there. Check it out. Dzień dobry. Fresh stuff. I'm good. I'm getting the uh, burger. This is it. Look at the options. You got bacon. Very appealing. Cheese and mushroom. Hot and spicy. So you guys sell Polish uh, sandwiches? Yeah, I used to have pulled pork. Yeah? Do you know anything about the history of, of the pulled pork? Thing? I don't know, sorry. Which one is the most popular? Is the bacon? Maybe the first one is a classic uh, bacon and cheese and mushroom. I'll, I'll get the bacon. Okay. Well, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Napkins, right? Uh, oh. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is the thumbnail probably. I need more better thumbnails. I don't get that many views. It is ridiculous. And there's like bacon and beef, pulled pork. It's a pulled pork sandwich, bacon on top, wrapped in a bun. It's supposed to be like super classic uh, from like World War I era or something like that was invented. I don't know, man. I'm not Polish. Students come to get this often. Let's try it. Mm. Pretty damn tasty beef, I gotta say. I mean, dude, this rivals some of the Philadelphia sandwiches I had. And those were like filled with cheese and stuff like that. I mean, in, in terms of taste, it can compete with that. Mm. Mm. Bacon, man, just makes it 10 times better. I think it's a, it's a must try if you come to crack 